All right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Apex once again. Today's video is going to be on some improvements to the class system. Because this season, it's actually been pretty good, but not perfect. And some big issues have really been uh, shown, I guess, in a way. Because if you guys can remember at the start of the season, we got two new perks. The Recon and the Controller perk. And these were more personal perks that were only affecting the character themselves. So, for example, the Recon class, uh, they got a Threat Vision perk, which basically allowed them to um, see enemies, like the, like a highlight over enemies that were being aimed at, which is very good for tracking. And the Controller perk got a Ring Overshield, where when you're in the ring, you get 25 additional HP. Basically, you were on the next like EVO level when you were in the ring. Now, I really think these perks were really, really good. I think they're great. Absolutely amazing, honestly, but I think we can actually readapt the entire system of perks as now obviously we have nearly two perks for every character. The only class that's missed out on a perk is the skirmisher one, which I'll get to in a little bit. So I'm going to propose some improvements. So the first one is for one perk to be personal, um, which basically is it's like a passive ability in a way that only gives the effect to the person from that class. So if you're a controller class character, you, you're the only person that gets the ring overshield. No one else in your team does. It's only you that gets it. So that should help you actually fit that uh, class role uh, by encouraging your team to go to the circle so that you can get that benefit. Uh, same for the recon class, the threat vision. Only you get that. So you are able to actually see enemies better. So you can actually get more kills than your teammates specifically for that reason. And this is very similar for other abilities as well, like the um, the Assault class um, ability, where you're able to carry extra ammo. Only you on the team can actually do that. However, the other abilities aren't actually there for the Skirmisher and the Support class. So that's why I've made some new perks. So the Skirmisher class, I've made a new perk, which is that you're not actually able to be stunned by bullets. So if you're a skirmisher legend, you can't be stunned by bullets. And this is very fami uh, familiar, if you've heard of it in the game before, with the Fortify perk. The Fortify perk has two different separate things to it, where basically Fortified legends get uh, damage reduction when they are hit, and also are not stunned by bullets. So the stunned by bullets part would also apply to all skirmisher characters in form of the class perk uh, for the personal ones. It would only affect yourself. And I've also created a new support perk as well called Team Spirit. Now, I think this is actually a really big one, honestly, because if you guys don't know, there was a leak for Apex a little bit ago uh, for apparently this season it was alongside Lifeline Reborn that never actually happened, where there was going to be a new support perk where as a support character, you could essentially use a battery, but instead of using it for yourself, you can throw it at a teammate and it would actually heal them up that much amount of shield over the course of however long it would take to use. So, for example, if I threw a battery at my teammate, it would take five seconds for the entire battery to be used on the teammate. Um, whether that be like over time, so you get the health over time, or if it's just you have to wait the five seconds and you get all the health. I don't know. Obviously, this is just a leak. But that would basically be the perk. And it, I think that would be overly OP, especially combining it with some of the abilities like, you know, Mirage's Revive, Lifeline's Revive, Newcastle's Revive. You know, you can essentially revive someone and then just give them a Phoenix Kit. Like, literally hit them with a Phoenix Kit and they can be fully health, like fully healed up in 10 seconds. Um, as long as they get to some cover or something like that, they can be back in the fight easier than ever. They don't have to do anything. You can do all of it for them. I disagreed with this perk entirely. I did agree why they um, are actually going to be changing this perk because obviously right now the support class actually has two perks and they're going to be removing the um, banner perk from what I know. They're going to be removing the banner uh, crafting perk to actually add it permanently because I think that's a good idea. I think a lot of the time when I'm in a fight or like run away from a fight to craft banners or whatever um, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just craft your banners, you know, like that's fine. And then I realise, oh shit, I don't have a support character. I'm like, oh, right, okay, that's a bit annoying. Because I'm so used to having a support character. So when I don't have one, it's weird, you know, just having your teammates, like, have to spectate you. There's no way to bring them back. And so I'm quite happy if they were to add a new support uh, perk 
to then embed the crafting the banners thing into the replicator default. So let's get back on the topic, of, of course. So my new support perk to replace the banner crafting, and obviously I think is better than the new you know, healing your teammates with your heals perk that the developers were cooking up, I think this one is better. It's called Team Spirit. So basically, after you respawn or revive a teammate, you gain 50 health points or shield points, depending on how much health you have. Um, now, this is for yourself. This is not for your teammates. This actually only benefits yourself. Now, why this is actually so good is it enables you to start reviving people more. Because currently in the game, you don't really have to as a lifeline. You know, you can. It'll help your team survive, of course. But you don't get any benefit out of that. You're basically putting yourself in harm's way to revive someone and you could die because of it. So what you actually get out of this is you get some health back on yourself. So it really encourages you to play that support role because you actually now get a benefit because of it. And I wouldn't say it's as OP as the other perk that Respawn had because you're not actually... So, you, you, obviously you're supporting your team by getting them up but you're supporting yourself a little bit as well. Um, and I think overall, 50 HP over, I would say, like, 5 seconds to fully heal it up. You know, 10 HP a second. It's very easy for a team to counteract that and kill you in that time. So I don't think it's that OP. But let's get on to the other perk, because we haven't talked about the other perk for each class, which is the team-based one. Now, I've changed a big part of this, and that is that anyone in the team can actually utilise this perk. Um, so let's say, for example, let's start again with the Recon and the Controller class. Both of these classes utilise either a Recon Beacon or a Control Console, where these used to only be accessible by them characters. However, now anyone on the team can use it. And obviously it grants evil shield for everyone on the team um, after it's been used. And of course, everyone on the team can you know see the people on the, on the, on the map after the recon one has been used, and of course, everyone can see the next ring after the control uh, the control beacon has been used. So what about the other classes? So we'll start with the assault and the support class, because these ones have uh, assault and support bins in the game currently. Now I've seen a big problem with this. Uh, of course we have, you know, the controller and the and the uh, recon beacons, which are like little like devices you activate around the map. That makes sense to go away and out of the way of the squad to activate them because you get a unique benefit out of it. However, assault and support bins, I thought it was a bit weird that you had to go very far away to use them and activate them um, because it was like you're only going to get loot out of it, you know? And I think it's a bit weird. So, what I propose is a new type of bin called a class bin where it's purple. And it basically holds, um, it's just like an old bin, but if you have a support or a soul character on, you basically get some additional items out of the bin. So basically the left hand side of the bin will be the support side, and the right hand side of the bin will be the um, assault side. And it'll be an extra compartment that pops out the side of the bin, um, depending on what side it is. So if you have an assault character on your team, and you would just go up to the bin, any one of the team goes up the bin, that assault side of the bin will pop out, and you'll get an extra one or two items. If you have an assault and a support carrot on the team, anyone on the team can go up that bin and both sides of the bin will pop out, giving you some assault uh, attachments and stuff like that, and some support healing items and survival items and stuff like that. Um, of course, it'll give you less evil because I think there should be more of these around the map to counteract it. Um, so essentially, it's just going to be way easier to get this loot. Rather than have to go really far out, there's going to be a lot more of them. You get less evil for it, of course, but there'll be lots more of them overall. And the last perk is for the Skirmisher one. This is a little buff for the current perk that they have. Anyone on the team can activate this once again. So scanning care packages guarantees red weapons, including round one uh, weapons as well. So if you scan the, the package, it'll guarantee it being a red weapon for your team if you open it. If some other team opens it before you, though, it'll just give them, obviously, gold weapons or whatever. Uh, but if you open it, you'll get a red one. Also, if you look in the direction of the care pack, similar to Conduit's tactic, uh, passive ability... You enable a speed boost when you go when you run towards this direction, which basically enables the class to act proactively to get some equipment before fighting someone, or retroactively you can use it if you're trying to run away from a fight. You can use it to speed your team up away. 
But I would like to know what you guys think about all this. You know, how, how would you feel if there was a personal and a team-based perk for every single class in the game?